What's, what does this mean to you now to be you know, three ranked teams in 20 days to win like this in front of this environment? What does it mean to you? What does it tell you about this team? Um, that we stick together through it all, the ups and the down, and it's what he was working for since the start of the summer. Um, just our togetherness is through the roof. Um, no matter what we're going through, ups and downs, you know, we, we just we just connected, and you know that's one thing that you know I'm enjoying is that we're together because once we're together, we can do we can achieve anything. So just our togetherness alone just makes me you know happy and excited for the season. Um, I mean, when we work so hard and, you know, we got a lot of talented guys, you know, we expect to win games like this. I mean, this is what, we, this is what we're here for. This is what we, we got recruited for, you know. And um, to see that it's finally working and we're finally, you know, get, getting it together, it's, it's, it's seeming up pretty nice. Guys, you did a really good job on Kolak. It seemed like a group effort. Can you just take us through how you defended him? What you did to slow him down? He's an all American. Um, just playing C Hall defense, being where we're supposed to be, knowing the scouting report, and just sticking to it. Uh, yeah, just you know, practicing and you know the reps, and you know, just sticking to the game plan defensively, knowing you know when to switch and when not to. Just you know, just the details. We we really focus on the details. Uh, uh, practice before. So. How important was the teamwork there defending Kohler? It seemed like the communication defensively was really good at the time they switches against him, which he burns teams on, as you know. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we were ready for it. Um, you know, like I said, we, you know, did our homework. You know, we, you know, went to practice and, you know, dialed in what we wanted to do and, you know, it worked out for us. You guys went down 10 early against UConn, down 10 early against Marquette, two very high quality teams. How important is the crowd being excited to play hard? Does that spur you on? Or are you just so focused on the court that you have no issue going back against a top 25 team like you have in the last two trips in the court? Um, it's a good feeling to hear the crowd roaring and cheering us on as we come back from being down 10 or however much we're down. So I think it plays a big part in our team spirit and the morale. And we just want to go out there and play harder and bring home a win for the fans and ourselves. Same thing, yeah? Yeah, um, definitely the fans are, you know, always, you know, going to be here for us. But I think the important thing is for us is just to remain together. We, we know uh, teams like that, like Marquette, they're going to make runs, and it's a game of runs. So we just, we focus on that in practice, and we we just knew how to you know remain together. So, Jerry. Al Kadori goes to the bench with two fouls. You have to handle the ball against what was pretty ferocious pressure. What was that like? How were we able to do it? Oh man, I'm a ball handler, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, just uh, just you know, just I just been poised uh, these couple of these past couple of practices. And you know, um, just staying at it with you know running the offense whenever he's you know out, and just trying to you know you know be that secondary ball handler. So. And guys, could you comment on the bench? Bench gave you 12 points, 10 rebounds, uh, really a bunch of timely plays, good defense. What do you think about what they did, and how much does that help you guys? Um, I feel like they're sticking well with it throughout the year. No matter if they played or minutes they're looking forward to. If they don't, I feel like they have been everyday guys and helping us get better the first unit in practice. Got time for a couple more here in the back. Hey guys, obviously turnovers were a bit of an issue today. You know, how can you fix that before you go on this road trip? Um, we definitely got to clean that up. Um, and by doing that, we just got to go back to the lab, you know, and you know, continue to, you know, work on some stuff, uh, work through our offense, and you know, get get a lot of different reads and work out them reads, and you know, so just getting back in the lab and controlling what we can control. Okay. Al, earlier in the year you were struggling with your shot. T today you were brilliant. Outside. What was the work like that you put in? And just wondering if there were some low moments that kind of propelled you to where you are now. Shoot or shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Keep firing. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I've just been in the gym, you know. Even when, you know, my days have been too low, it's always been in the gym because I know, like, that's the place that got me here. So just, all, just always take it to the gym and solve my problems there. Last one, Jerry. I have a question I'd like both of you to answer. How much has this team now adopted the coach's image? How much are you getting what he wants in playing that Just being around him every day and seeing the passion that he brings, 
I think it's starting to trickle down to us day in and day out. And I'm just happy to play for a guy like him. Yeah, same with me, you know, we we around him 24-7. He's not even with his family at times. And we, we realize that, that, you know, he could be with his family, but he's always with us. And, you know, we, we taking that to heart and we, we kind of realizing that, so. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the last one. Kyle Shaw has said a couple times he doesn't think you guys are playing your best yet. Do you think you're getting better? Is it, do you feel that way? And you know, what, what can get better? How much better can you be? Uh, most definitely. I mean, we, we all are talented, but it's, you know, you, you always have room for improvement. And, you know, we're going to preach that. He's going to preach that to us day in, day out. So. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.